answer is probably no. Actually, I'm not so sure now. This is vaguely what I'm looking for. The thing that I seek is not here. The thing that I seek is not here. Nope. Might as well grab some cord. So having lots of cord is good. Good. The thing that I am looking for is on the third island. Unfortunately, kind of annoying, but oh well, can't really do anything about it. Or rather, the thing that I would like to find is on the third island. Oh, climb up. Climb in an upwards direction. So I saw this. Have I been in here? I can't remember. Brain does not remember. I'm gonna assume no. Or I'm going to assume yes, because there's some stuff that looks like it's broken in here. Or that's just how the generation has been. I go up I go looking for the garden that's a graveyard I can't do anything about it quite yet because I do not possess the knowledge of headstone crafting unfortunately uh, oh yes I remember this place there was a scorpion over here that I had to beat up. Somebody just broke their ankles. Ah, yes, there's the garden. More cream here. And the chimera wing. I actually want a whole bunch of chimera wings, so... I would like to have a whole bunch of chimera wings. I know I need them for sure. Up I go, up I go. I guess down here is where I require my shovel and I will have to travel around a bit. I love gardening. Hello human, what do you think of my garden? I've heard about you from Clubberina. You're the builder, right? The one with the power to build, build, build new things. I bet you could throw together something like this before I could blink, blink, blink. Of course, if you want to be a gardener, you're going to need a shovel first. You can use a shovel to dig up flowers and plants without break, break, breaking them apart. And then you can just plunk, plunk, plunk them on your gr on the ground, stick a fence around them, and bam, you're done. Of course, none of this helps if you don't know how to make a shovel. Thankfully, you know how to make a shovel. This guy says it's not fair. Hello, human. Honestly, would you look, look, look at that beautiful garden he's got there? It takes me right off, really, it does. Me and him are competing to be the head of head gardener of Hamilton Heights. Mm, but at this rate, I don't, I won't, I don't stand a chance. Clawbarina set us a challenge to put, put, put together a garden, and he's already finished. Could you help me out, human? I've tried bashing them and whacking them and giving them a good clobber, but the plants just won't stay in one piece. He must have some secret way of pick, pick, picking them up and putting them down without without them falling apart. If you can figure out this secret, then help me make a garden look, look, look just like his. So he wants us to copy the garden that the other dude has. And you can do this with the shovel. Incredible! I think I picked up a clump of grass and a daffo daisy and stalwart plant and a milk blossom. Also, this purple flower is something I need as well. 
Cora Lily. I can't do that. Right, so uh, if your eyes are keen, you'll notice that this guy has cacti. Uh, as well as medicinal shrubbery. I want this stalwart plant. You can find these literally everywhere, so. And I think we want these flowers as well. You can't take flowers from the other dude's um, garden, though. This grass I don't need. Uh, let's see. This Cora Lily needs to go right here. Uh, this daffodaisy needs to go next to it. And this, there's a whole bunch of milk blossoms if they want. Uh, I need tree. I need to find more milk blossoms. I have buds, I'm just realizing. And I could use those instead. I believe you place these down at your feet. Yes. I still need one more, though. I don't know if I'll find any over here, though. Of course, I need a shrubbery as well. Which I should have grabbed a shrubbery when I was around in that one place with 16 billion shrubbery earlier, but I didn't because I'm a fool. A fool is me. I mean, it's a fool is indeed me. I am the most foolish person. There's a cave there. It's nighttime again. How oh, very scary. Too bad I don't care. I'm so buff and swole, I don't need to care. There's some. It's perfect, actually. Because I see a shrubbery and some milk blue sams. Perfect for yours, truly. This is just coal, but... Might as well grab it anyways, because I need some. Because I'll need a whole bunch more coal. That much is shirtin'. Oh, there's a whole bunch over here. Thank you. Great. Now I need to go pick up that shrubbery. Hello there. Excuse me. I must go down and get the shrubbery. And then I need to get... Um, actually, I think the rest of the things I need are in the desert, actually, so... Shrubbery! Give it to me! Yeah, medicinal shrub. Uh, right. Uh, you know what? I'll go back. Go back to desert land. Pick up the... cacti that I need. As well as the barrel cactus. That's not the right one. The barrel cactus is what I need. And then I need, like... I need the cacti tops is what I need. Which those are actually kind of hard to get because they're so high. Excuse me. You missed. Lol, you missed. You didn't miss that time, though. Boink, boink. Ooh, you missed. Egg. Alright. 
chunk of cactus trunk. Oh no, I need that. Cactus crown. That works too, I guess. Oh, uh, we need these. Sand wart. Give me the crown, please. Thank you. There's no space. Uh, should I go do the thing now? Yeah, might as well. Mm -hmm. I might as well go take care of it now. Especially since I don't need the shovel anymore. Take the shovel out, equip this and that. So, our goal is to reach the pyramid, which I've already done once before, but I'm gonna do it again. There it is. There is a pyramid. There's a cave there. I'm pretty sure I've been in that one, though. Hmm. Splish. Splish. All right. Pyramid time. Here we go. Uh, now I believe there are a few things that we want to grab in here. This isn't where I want to be, though. Because there's this whole, this secret door, or, or fake wall, I guess. Uh, a bit of a maze, I think. There's these vines here, which I think, yes, this leads to a treasure chest. What is inside? Oh, the feather fall boot footwear. This is superbly sturdy shoes constructed from aura calcum. Protects against fall damage. So yeah, I'll take zero damage from falling now. Incredible. And because it is an accessory, uh, it doesn't have a durability. Uh, there are other two pretty nice accessories somewhere. Oh, fireplace. I think that's a decoration item. A large heart that's handy for heating a house. It's a light source and it gives a score of 500. I don't think you ever get the opportunity to craft this in the ch main chapters. I think you can only craft it in the sandbox mode. There's nothing up here. I think it's the only time you can actually cra 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 craft the fireplaces in the same bikes mode. Anyways, up here is where we're supposed to be. Into the age of man's and I'd offer up you prayers to the evil idol in it. But it's only because of the prayers that we offer to the evil idols that we have the strength to live in in, the des in this desolate desert. My sisters are simply divine, but however much one might pay, crave it, it, would do, it wouldn't do to take them away from this place. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of people. Alright, uh, so now that we see that standing in front of them is uh, kind of scary. I got one evil idol. Bronze Temple Tile Block. How dare you disturb our prayers? Do you do not think you will get away with this human? Escape from the pyramid. Oh yeah, so we got these guys now. These are mages. Ooh, yeah, you um I don't think we can do damage to these guys. Well there's a way we can escape. We're standing somewhere around here. Camera wing! Whee! Nope. 
That wasn't the right spot. Owie, owie, owie. Let it give me a hint of where it's supposed to be. Here! Check me out of here! Whee. And now I am back home, safe and sound, mostly. Uh, right. I need. I should place down that fireplace, actually. Not like it matters, because I'm already maxed out on coinage. Fireplace. This is a, um... Three by two by one block. Wow! Look at that. Looks nice. Uh, book. Barricades and crates. I have a whole bunch of these crates, actually. I don't think I'll actually do anything with them, though. Oh, there's stuff in here. Item display stand, plant pot, and equipment display stand. A simple stand designed for displaying weapons and armor. Yeah, I think these are... I think these just have things you can... put stuff on. Yeah, you can just place stuff on here. Uh, it doesn't look super great, but... Look super great because there's no not really a 3D model for or there's not really a mannequin for some reason. More barricades. No, that doesn't look good. destroyed barricades, they'll still look nice. Ish. Uh, now I will go talk to a Rolo. Is there anything in here? A barrel and some pots. By my slender belly, Montgomery, you've recovered the evil idols. Now that these fearsome statues are ours, we can build this steel stockade the Candlin Chronicle describes. Hmm, should we really be building such a showy structure, you ask? I can't put my girl, you've been talking with Larouche and Mag Magnus, I take it. You're worried that if we build this city back to its former glory, a certain massive monster won't take too kindly to it, am I right? Wah! Do you really believe that rubbish? Do not worry, my girl. With your building skills and my immense intellect, we you have nothing to fear. Catelyn will soon be back to its bustling best, and there's not a thing that horde lord of the monsters can do about it. Just leave everything to me. Wah! Wah! He's coughing. Oh boy, it's time for combat. Uh, but not yet, because I want to go finish that garden. That requires me. Uh, to not be here. This is the wrong place. Let me just go here. How could I forget? Gosh, I'm such a fool. I need to go back to the garden. Back to the garden with me. 100%. Yeah, I'll probably cut out the walk. I am here. Hello. Uh, right, so we want to place our sand wart here. The blossom. I don't think I got a barrel cactus, did I?
No, I didn't. Oh, I'm such a fool. Fool is me. Means I have to go back and get more. Man! Most unfortunate and most annoying. Ugh, that's what I have to say. Uh, well, I will snooze. And I think we'll do this combat. Hello! My immense intellect, my cover! Yet again, the monsters plan an attack against our home. Those beasts just won't learn their lesson, but by our, the strength of our defenses and the might of our weapons, we shall drive them off. My cover, my girl, are you ready for a fight? Yes, I am. I'm ready for a fist fight. Oh no. Hello. I don't think you can Yeah, you can't get through my stalwart defense. And I can even attack you from up here as well. Haha, -ha! what will you do? The answer is nothing. I, mean, I think these skeleton, these skeleton scrappers can heal. That's what their thing is. Come closer. I did it. I won. Now I have more of these night dudes. Of course, I shall remain here and watch. Lure them into the spikes. Scorpion enemies now. Hmm. More scorpions. Ow. Since I have the attention. Oh, here's the leader. The big man. Ow. Owie. Oh yeah, these uh, night guys can drop shackles, that's right. Which the shackles are just like a decoration item. Ow. Oh, set a change, excuse me. Oh, that's right. Magnus will have a hammer instead of a sword. Do your worst, fiend. I need this fruit salad. I did it. I'm the winner! More fruit salad. I'm the victor. I gotta see the like. Uh, a pair of un unescapable iron manacles designed to handcuff hostages to the wall. That's great, but I need to go back to the desert. Pick up a barrel cactus. I see a few in an upwards direction. This is perfect. It means I don't have to search that hard. You're in my way, mister. And I don't much care for it. Sword. Remove sword. Equip shovel. Dig. Take. Or no, it's a prickly peach cactus. Well, what they're called in real life is a barrel cactus, I'm pretty sure. to go back to the garden. Preferably without enemies touching me. Uh, 
And then finally I can hand in this friggin' side quest. Once again, ow, I have returned to the garden. Here's your stupid barrel cactus. Wow, my god, our garden's exactly the same now. Thanks, human. Now that I've completed Clobberina's task, I'm still in the running for the head gardener job. Huh? What do you mean that's cheating? Just because I didn't make it myself? Oh, come on. We don't have to worry about a little thing like that. Just don't, don't be such a stick, stick, stick in the mud. Um, you're not gonna tell Clobberina, are you? Here, I'll give you this amazing piece of furniture I made. Just don't tell me, okay? You get a bench. Uh, so yeah, that's your way of getting a bench for free for the Cantlin Garden. But of course, that is also required uh, for the challenges, as in, um... Oh no, it isn't, actually. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's not part of the challenge. You don't need to do that, but, I mean, it means you won't have to make a bench. Not like making a bench is all that hard. Have I, have I been over this way? I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah. What well, time to head home? Whee! There was a cave there! Aw. You with the face. Hmm, Medkiva, have you noticed how the monsters have been attacking more aggressively lately? Not only do they arrive in greater numbers, but their troops are more powerful, too. This really seems like we caught the Dragon Lord's attention. We can't just sit here twiddling our thumbs while he builds up his army, Lord Kipper. We need to be ready for the strongest weapons and, and armor we can and meet the Dragon Lord's forces head on. That's why we need to fit our special room to store these arms so that we can draw them at, the mo at a moment's notice. You know, if we put some ornamental armor and, s and ornamental swords in dressing rooms, we should use it. We could use it as an armory. Please, Lord Kipper, turn our dressing room into an armory. We need to be ready for battle at any time. Hey, remember when I said that we would be using these ornamental swords and ornamental armor? armor? What a convenient time that they come into use literally right now. There we go. Equips residents with powerful armor. Or powerful weapons. I think it's just a sword. I think you just need one ornamental sword and one ornamental armory. Or armor. Wow, this armor is exactly how I imagined it. Thank you so much. Now we'll be able to equip ourselves with stronger weapons than ever before. Still, I cannot, but I cannot wonder. Why weren't Kentland's guards able to keep the city safe? From what I've heard, there was even supposed to be a giant friendly golem guard in the town gates. What's more, the city was very heavily fortified. This wall should be able to withstand almost any attack. For Kentland to have fallen, they must have been attacked by an absolutely overwhelming army. Unless the attack came from within the, the city walls. Oh, sorry, my Kipper. I'm sure you have far more important things to do than to listen to me whittling on. Thanks again. Medicinal herbs. Three sacks. Yo. Seems like uh, the rate of our city spent has got the monsters in a bit of a panic. Dragon Lords had the whole of Out of God by the short and curlies for hundreds of years now, but this might be our chance to turn the tables. My Kipper, if you're going to clear that darkness from the sky, you're going to have to be quick, quick about it. I reckon it's time you started preparing to take on the boss of the monsters. The secret of making the secret of making a furnace, the ultimate in smithing equipment, has been handed down to my family in my family for generations. If we had one of them, we could smelt steel and shape it into fiercely powerful weapons and armor. I'll show you how to build the thing, but the actual building will leave up to you, alright? Build me a furnace. A massive metal chamber so hot it can melt the hardest materials used to build or calcum items and weapons. Uh, which we need to... I think we need a forge for that, right? Uh, we need one forge, five iron ingots, and three coal. Well, thankfully, I do have a forge. So we can just use this one. Furnace. Bam. Bam. Oh yes, hello. Nice work, boy, Kevra, in your terrible camera angles. Now you can make some properly tasty weapons. The furnace we can smell steel, and steel weapons are, are a fair sight stronger than what you've been using so far. Just like the weapons they had back then. 
You've been to the castle up behind Hammerhood's village, haven't you, Mordekeeper? I've heard that there was one of, one of my ancestors hold himself up in that fortress after Catelyn fell. The people living there turned on each other and started arguing amongst themselves. They all started to suspect one another of everything under the sun, and in the end, they threw their weapons. Well, what do you think? Well, what do you think the golem who was watching over them f thought of all that, eh? I wouldn't be too surprised if he was still around here somewhere, watching over Catelyn even now. If it was him who destroyed the place, I can't help thinking he might have had a pretty good reason. But anyway, good good work, my Kipper. Now go and make yourself some decent equipment and teach them monsters not to mess with us. Get five coal. I believe now we can place this furnace, which is the same... It's the same size as the Ford, I believe. Wow, blacksmith studio. Well, with this we can make steel with eight iron ingots and three coal we can make five steel ingots. Uh, so let's make a bunch of that. 45 ingots should be good. Now we learn how to make a steel broadsword and a war hammer, which I believe is an even better sledgehammer. And a steel shield. And a barricade. An actual proper barricade. Uh, but that's it, though. Which the barricade requires three steel and five wood. A steel bound stockade designed to defend against marauding monsters. And of course, down here, the steel bronze sword. A weighty weapon with a sharp steel blade. I like that one. Incredible. And the war hammer, which this is what re this requires scorpion horns. Steel shell requires a steel ingot and one wood, though. Which I'll make that as well. Just in case I need them, which I probably will when my stuff breaks. Oh, scoonces. And there's stone windows. Interesting. Right. Left. Let's talk to you. Stop standing on the walls, mister. Hmm, <laughs> you've gone and done it again, haven't you, my keeper? Building a furnace. How many times do I have to tell you? Should you keep this up, the monsters will bring their full force to bear on us. They don't just mean any old monsters. Should mankind grow too powerful, that ruinous beast will return to make short work of us all. In fact, I fear he may already be on his way. My keeper, do you think you could do me a favor? I've drawn up plans for a watchtower that will let us keep watch over a far greater distance. I'd like you to build it just as I have designed. I'm sure that's well within the abilities of a builder like you. Please hurry. We may not have much time. Watchtower blueprint. Ow. I will place that for This blueprint requires 29 earth, 4 ivy, 4 stone steps, and a brazier. Uh, oh, I know I have the... I do have the brazier. I don't think I have the stone steeps, though. I'll have to make those. Unless they're in here. They are. There is a door, though. Uh, let's see. Stone steeps. And I'm pretty sure I have some ivy. I have 21 ivy. Perfect. Now then, how do I build this? Yes, I see. Step, step, step. Uh huh. That's a bad way of doing this. That's where my stone steps are supposed to go. No. Here in the oivy. There we go. Oh, some monsters. Where are they? Uh, actually, they're probably around the back, aren't they? I still need that brazier. Yeah, so uh, now. 
enemies will just ta attack you randomly now. Anyways, I can play the watchtower. Yeah, it's pretty easy to make. Ooh. Yeah, so now monsters will just randomly start attacking our base now. I think it's just skeletons, though, for now. Hello. Ah, my Kepi, you finally finished the watchtower, even though you built it in, like, basically two minutes. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. What? Am I going to keep a watch? I should think so. I'd want to be the first one to know if that fiend were on its way. Has Magnus told you how was the golem who used to guard Canlan that ultimately destroyed the city? If Canlan and his people should rise again, the golem is sure to come back and finish the job. I've been told that story ever since I was a boy. Rolo told you that he read in the Canlan Chronicle, did he not? The only way this land can truly be freed from the darkness is by defeating the monster who rules all the others. Make no mistake, Mudkipper, the ruler is none other than Catelyn's former guardian, the gigantic golem. We don't know when it's going to strike, but when it does, we humans won't stand a chance. Take it from me, Mudkipper, you should be prepared to flee at any moment. You get three iron ingots. For that. I believe Rolla has a quest for us now, yes. So I shall speak to him. Wake up! Let me talk to you. What's the matter, Mudkipper? That's an awfully frowny face you're wearing. Has little Rouch been filling your head with stories of doom and destruction again? Pay no attention to that grouchy glue monger. You're not dead yet, my girl. And what's more, I've deciphered another chapter of the Catlin Chronicle. It describes a staggeringly strong defensive structure that uses those evil idols you've recovered. I know it's known as the Steel Stockade, and it will make our town nigh impossible for the monsters to breach. Yeah, my cover, take this blueprint and build the steel stockade it depicts. Obviously, you'll want to build it on the west side of the city. You might need to knock down the old defenses to make space. I don't know how you'll build the steel doors that form a stockade centerpiece, but I'm sure you'll be able to work out something. Get the steel stockade blueprint, and... I can make a set of steel doors. A massive double door made solely out of steel. Uh, also, these are uh, really big from what I remember. I think I need the furnace to do this, right? Yes, I do. Six steel ingots and one magic die will create the steel doors. And we only need one of these. Should be noted. Uh, now as for these, I will have to tear this down. I'll tear it all down! I believe it still use this, uses this, um, these are stone walls, though. This blue stone. There we go. Now then, here's our steel stockade. It's pretty large and in charge. Right there. So as we can see, steel stockade, pretty big. 78 stone walls, 10 barricades, one steel door, two scootses, two evil idols, and 24 spike traps. Uh, you will want to place the evil idols last, just because of how they are. And the fact that when you're trying to work, They'll be spitting fire at your face if you're not careful. Uh, because the evil idols, they don't care what's in front of them. They will shoot fire at it. They don't care. As long as it's something they can spit fire at, they will. I think I do have... I have two scoonces already. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Of course, the steel doors. Which these are... These are three by one by one. Bam! Look at how big those doors are. And that's for spike traps.
Ah, uh, right. More stone walls are required. I can't really get up from here, can I? Uh, well, I can make some more from in here. No, I can't actually. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to go to the furnace. Uh, I also need ten of these, don't I? I don't have the wood for that. And some of these. I think 30 should look good. I don't have the copper ingots for it. You know, I'll make some glass. Five sand and one coal makes glass. And with glass, we can make a dressing table, a dainty dresser with a mirror made to aid you in applying your makeup. And a window, a window made from sticks and some strange see-through stuff. And some copper ingots. I don't want to make too many of them, though. I quite frankly do not care. I will need a hell bunch of wood though. Thankfully I can just make some here. Turn all of my lumber into wood. Perfect. Uh, barricade, what a great camera angle. Right. Gosh, I still need to get up here, though. To actually place this stuff on top. Parkour. Uh, let's see, yes. I did not make enough stone. That is unfortunate. And these barricades, yeah, they go here. And... Oh, where's my evil idols? I might as well place those down now. What point, I have stone walls here. Wow. Hey, I guess it's a good thing I grabbed those uh, bits of stone wall earlier. Now, one thing I think you can do is actually place our extra spike traps out in front. Or what's what I'm going to do, rather. few more. Dunzo! Steel stockade is finished! Perfect. And I'll place these last two spike traps here. And there. For extra stabbings. Bold and beautiful brow, you've completed the steel sucker! Now our city is safe from the attack. Three chairs from Mount Capra. What? Is the stockade truly really strong enough to keep the golem at bay? Don't you remember, Mount Capra, the golem was on our side. It watched over the people of Candlin and protected them from harm. I don't know what Larouch is trying to convince you of, but there's no way that golem would ever harm us. Besides, it's unthinkable that a creature who, can't, who once served mankind would come become the leader of the monsters for monster forces. There's simply no basis to the to this silly story of his. He's doing nothing but stirring up unrest. It's people like LaRouche who hold back a city's progress, you know. We might have to make something about him. But anyway, good work, my Kepper. Our new defenses are second to none. Wah. I see a life. Uh, I think before that. I 
would like to make some more stone walls. And make cladding, because I have an, uh, an idea. Or rather, a plan that'll make our stockade just a little bit better. I'll make cladding with this. More cladding! I think 20 should be good. And I need dirt. So much dirt. Because we're going to put a nice big wall around our... This thingy right here. We are going to do this. Because enemies in these combat missions like to move around too much for my liking, to be honest. So we're going to erect a big wall around them to catch them so that they don't do anything stupid. The stupid thing I'm talking about is uh, not going into my traps. Of course, by making it out of stone walls, we can change it. So it's just as durable as the rest of as our steel stockade. Yay! Incredible. Where are those chains? There we go. Oh, I have four spikes here, actually. Hold on. Which means I can make this even better. There we go. Maybe it'll inspire fear into the, into them. Put that sign there. I'll write something later. Uh, there were some things. I don't know if I can make it yet, though. Am I able to make it? Oh, yeah, the window requires one glass and one and one wood. Should mention. Where's the thingy? I don't know if I still I don't know. I don't know if I can make it though. I don't think I can. Unfortunately, uh, need some food. Mmm, tasty. 